Oh my gosh. So, we're coming out to the galley at the chain ladders. And it's raining and it's misty and I don't see anything. Half the group, or well more than half the group, has gone up the chain ladder because it's their first time and whatnot. So that's definitely something to see. But here's the gully. Look at this. It's quite beautiful. And I think actually it's easier than the chain ladder. If you like scrambling, then it's definitely easier. Or rather, maybe, actually I don't know which one's easier because the chain ladder is less effort, I think. Um, pretty straightforward. You climb the ladder, you get over the fear of the heights, then it's not an issue. Then you walk on flat, whereas this has been quite steep and it's up, but it's climbing, it's scrambling, which I enjoy, so I'm not really finding it difficult. I do like that I'm out of breath and it's making me work for it, which is really good. But also we're gaining altitude quite quick. It is very steep. You can maybe see Graham over there. Say hi Graham. Hello. <laughs> it is hailing on us. Why am I always out in the rain? But look how beautiful it is. It's really good light here. Yeah. Wow. It's a greeting. It's Hello. Hello. <laughs> Where's the rest of the team? Coming, coming. Mm. Oh, just imagine the views, they're spectacular. Um, it's about another, I'd say, about, about 60 meters. Oh, so we're nearly there. there. The clouds opened up for us. <laughs> <laughs> nearly there. No. Nearly there, nearly there. There we go. Well, we've taken the tough route here, eh? but it's a, it's a lekker route. I think I like this route more than the chain ladders. Yeah, yeah. I think to go up this way and then down the chain ladder yeah, is yeah. a good way to do it. Yeah. I like that thing. Yeah. Then you get both. You see. So that's where we just came from. <laughs> and it's closed up again. Yeah. Which way do we go now? Now we just follow this and pause here. Oh, this path. Oh, there's another current. Yeah. So we just follow the currents. Because down here there's nothing. Down here where we're going to end up. Where? Um, and there's this beautiful gorge here. Um, and across the other side of the gorge, it's quite narrow. Uh-huh. It's in fact where the Tukela River goes over, then goes over, over the edge. So we're going to go you know, onto that little plateau and over this around the side and then meet with the river and then meet with the river there oh nice oh, oh look at this oh, how beautiful oh, wow. this is and the clouds are like moving a bit there we go well done jeez gavin with that pack i take my hat off seriously well done come come and relax here put your feet back here do you know how much your bag weighs? Around 30. What? Yeah. I'm carrying all my mom's stuff, all my brother's stuff. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You're the mule of the family. Oh. If you came for the views, they're not here. They took the day off. No, 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 it's, it's, it's funny. 
I am so cold and it is storming outside. I have all the layers on. <laughs> oh gosh, just in my tent at 3 p.m. with a thunderstorm. Yay, Drakensberg hikes in the summer. <laughs> I fell asleep and it appears it hasn't stopped raining. I guess you're not having this dinner party. <laughs> So I've been feeling terribly cold and I realized that there is water under my tent. Like that's all water. So I'm sleeping in a puddle. And that's why I'm feeling cold right now. I'm still dry, but there's water everywhere under my tips. on the dry bits. Oh my gosh, look at that. Water, water, water. I mean, I guess on the bright side, I don't set my tent up over there. Can you see that? And the thing is, it's so icy that I can't warm up because I'm getting cold from the bottom, from the water. Oh, I hope it stops raining. I hope the earth absorbs all this water before it leaks into my tank. Good morning. So... Oh, it eventually stopped raining. I don't know exactly when, but when I woke up at about 2 a.m. There was no more rain. However, I was still in a puddle battery died um yeah so i was still in a puddle and yeah now it's 4 30 4 38 and there's no more water underneath me it seems to all be gone but there is some dampness in my tent and let's have a look. So last night, I put my jacket between my mattress and I, because I was trying to, oh, I don't know, I don't know if I said, but it was like I couldn't get warm because there was just this icy cold water underneath me. Um, so this was, I was trying to just add layers to prevent the coldness and I also moved to a bumpier portion. You know, so here there's just lumps of grass. Um, oh, you can see my mattresses. Wait, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a 
there's water underneath me. I think it could be worse. I think this is not so bad. <sighs> anyway, what a night. I have never experienced anything like that before. Like <laughs> sleeping in a literal puddle. Yo. And we had so much rain. I think it rained for how many hours? It started at like three. 3.30 and I just poured and poured and then it got heavier at about like 4 or 5 and it was just this heavy rain down 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 then I fell asleep and then woke up 8.30 still raining pouring hard wind blowing crazy and then I fell asleep again and yeah rained the whole night so, like I said, it stopped somewhere before like 2 a.m. <sighs> Needless to say, we didn't have our fancy dress at dinner. <laughs> but maybe we'll do that now in the morning. Oh, let's see the view. The sun should be rising. He's the one who brought us to this torture t chamber. That's right. I was the one who said, listen guys, maybe we should postpone a day. And then somebody <laughs> said, somebody said, you guys are explorers. You do hardcore. She said that. It was me. Yeah. And then somebody else said, mm, it's going to be raining next week as well. So we decided we're going to make this happen. And aren't you happy? I we are happy. We don't regret a minute. We, we are explorers. You know my tent collapsed at one point. It collapsed? The wind blew the tent pegs out and oh. then I couldn't find the tent pegs because the wind was so strong it just went down. Whoosh! Whoa! So there's a nice little light MSR on our tent pegs that just go like. This is Evadne's tent. She got water inside and then went into her survival bag. And that kept... Whoa! There's a big puddle! Whoa! Look at that! You still have puddles everywhere. Oh. For your video, you have to show. I am already. Oh, you already dressed. Formal breakfast. We're having a formal breakfast. I'm gonna put on my dress. Sure, guys. Lovely, eh? Yeah. Does anybody, does Hello. anybody have the time? <laughs> 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 there you go. Got it. Well, See, fun. safety first. <laughs> safety first. <laughs> 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 You can't really see it, but that's Elan Falls. And now we're heading down towards the ladder. Oh, there, look. Opening up a bit. Wow, it's so full.
Hold on, I'm behind you, Chris. Don't make any sudden movements with like your huge table. Sorry, Chris.